Well, when you're doing something on a subject like this, which torments so many women, sensitivity is paramount. And uh, it doesn't just come from an actor, it also comes from the creator, the writer, the filmmaker. And obviously the way the script is written, uh, I knew that the writer, who also is the director, uh, are going to deal with it very, very sensitively. So I think that is the most important thing that you need to look into when you're doing something like Darling, so you're doing something like Delhi Pride. Uh, and, uh, yeah. and then of course, there are challenges to get into the character, which are a part and parcel of my job. Whenever they have come it's just a woman's role. Woman role. Like well, the film is, is about two women. Yeah, it is about two women. And, uh, hey, okay, let's come to the other part now. So, you are the top on OTT platform. So, how do you react to that? Well, that's... Uh, a darling of the OTT. That was someone, one of my friends from Delhi called me. And said you asked that this that's very sweet but there is such there's so much talent and such amazing talent on the OTT platform that uh, I wouldn't be presumptuous to say that but if, if people feel like that I mean I'm over so what next so Delhi Crime 2 is releasing on the 26th of August uh, that is something I'm really looking forward to and then uh, there's a film called uh, Dr. G, uh, and there's another film called uh, Three of Us, which is going to first do the festival circuit and then will be released sometime next year. And lastly, uh, this OTT onslaught, which I also asked Amira uh, Kasha, what do you say of that? Even me, I don't, I don't feel like it. Well, I love it. I mean, I love it uh, because one, uh, it doesn't have the pressure of a box office, hence breaking all those structures of a box office. You know, when you're doing a box office film, there are requirements, I guess, for producers and directors to have a star, to have uh, a song, a dancer, fight sequence. It could be a great film, but it, if it doesn't work on Friday, so much hard work and passion and manner that so many people have put in it can get wiped out in the book, etc, etc. But that's not the case with OTT. They don't need stars, they want actors. Also as an actor, it's an eight-hour film. Yeah. It's not a two-hour film. So it gives you so much space to really chew on a character, develop it in detail, in nuance. And it, I mean, a film which releases in the theatre, uh, you know, it's not, it doesn't go beyond, it probably goes to some places. But OTT it drops in 190 countries in one go, which is a huge exposure. Even as an audience, I love it. I mean, I still go to the theatre and I love going to theatres, but I love the OTT platform because I can see content from all across the globe. I mean, we were deprived of that. So does that inspire you? To, uh, Absolutely. The things coming from across the world. Absolutely. Anything and everything that is beautiful, that is enriching, even if it's not beautiful, if it's enriching, if it helps you grow, if it stays somewhere in your memory, it is, it, everything inspires me. Thank you. Thank you.